Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to take three of yet another unedited, unscripted, unrehearsed, unwarranted video from the eastern wing of the Stink Bug Works, that super secret research and development division of Dr. Jet Laboratory. Dr. Jet Laboratories. Today, I'm here to talk about a tool, some progress on Fred, the deadhead Fred, and uh, talk about what's going to happen next time. Anyway, this is the uh, almost final configuration of the, uh, the deck for the jet, the jet deck. The way these pumps are designed, they won't fit in any molded hull. I don't care if it's plastic, if it's fiberglass, if it's carbon fiber, because they're, all those hulls are not going to have perfect 90-degree angles like this thing is designed to fit. And it's also designed to fit on a perfectly flat surface. And how many boats have a perfectly flat surface? Now, granted, there may be a hull or two out there that's designed specifically to fit this jet and has, you know, little uh, uh, um, thickened areas to fit this. But if you're building one on your own, you're almost going to have to do this to make it work. So um, on this, I'm going to trim this little blue area off, and that'll be it. I'm going to take it apart one last time, take all the, the felt marker off, yeah, alcohol takes that off just like that. That's why I like using it. Um, and then it's ready to uh, glue into place. One thing I didn't mention when I was talking about the uh, the linkage for the reverse bucket, the uh, cooling water nipple was located right here, and I just pulled it out and stuck a uh, stainless steel grub screw in there, and I moved the cooling outlet over here. I took a couple of layers of this 30-second uh, styrene that I used for the jet stepper and just glued it onto there so it'd have some meat to thread into, and now it's really solid. Um, so that's about it for this. Now, you may be looking at this and going, you know, having the the Vinny view of, geez, that's, that's Dr. Jet perfect. How did you get that? And that's the real subject for this video. This little device is called a nibbler because it nibbles away at material. And you can cut a straight line with it. You know, it's, it's not the fastest thing in the world. You can cut curves with it. See, so you cut a little curve. That's about the tightest radius you can get with it. But it'll cut this 40,000 70, 71. You know, the stuff I made the, uh, um, the uh, inlet protector out of. So um, it's a handy-dandy tool to have if you're working with aluminum. Like if you're making a rudder or a rudder bracket or something and you want to get in there and cut it and you just don't quite have the room and you can't get in there, this little thing is great. Now, they make powered ones, but they're big. I wish somebody made one that was small like this, you know, that would just go in there and bzzz, cut lightweight material. Anyway... Next time you see me, boys and girls, this should be cleaned up and attached, and we'll be uh, we'll talk about how we're going to beef it up on the inside to make it all work, and we're going to be ready to go. There's not going to be any other through hauls for rudder or anything like that, other than just a, a cooling nipple. So um, this thing is going to progress pretty quick from here on out you know it's going to be quick and dirty throw throw a couple of servos in it i've already got the speed control i may even use the old batteries that uh ran this when it was in my uh lsh boat okay boys and girls until next time jet out <laughs>